A line extended from shoulder to shoulder and perpendicular to the center line forms the four gates. Wing Chun's defensive system trains one to employ various blocks to protect each of the four gates. Here, Master Wong protects his upper right gate as he blocks and punches in a single motion. Alternate simultaneous blocks and punches protect both your left and right upper gates. Observe how body shifting is coordinated with both the blocks and strikes. Master Wong demonstrates defense of the upper gates against an opponent's multiple punches. Similarly, both left and right lower gates may also be protected with simultaneous alternate blocks and chops. Observe how the arms move in unison. Here, defending his left and right lower gates, he simultaneously strikes with a right chop, then a left punch. Whenever possible, grab, pin or immobilize the opponent's arm to gain control and prevent him from attacking. In accordance with the theory of economy of motion, Wing Chun hand techniques defend and block at the same time and are delivered in a bursting series of straight rapid fire attacks. The basic straight punch begins in front of your solar plexus and is thrust out with your fist at nose level. As one fist punches, the opposite fist retracts. Notice the wrist snapping action unique to Wing Chun. This unusual movement permits you to both deflect and punch with the same hand simultaneously. It also creates a powerful shocking force even from short distances as seen demonstrated by this one inch punch. Execute finger thrusts like punches and keep your fingertips stiffly together. Finger thrusts are either aimed at an opponent's eyes or as seen here, to his throat. When employing palm thrusts, use the palm heel as a weapon. Palm thrusts directed under an opponent's nose are very effective. Chung, force never clashes with force. Instead, the larger force is deflected by a lesser force. Tan Sao employs the thumb side of your forearm to block. At completion, your elbow returns to the fixed elbow position, one fist distance from your center line. Rotation of the forearm and the palm's abrupt upward twist generate power. Blocking power is enhanced by twisting your torso while shifting. Yun Sao, excellent for training wrist flexibility, is used for changing hand position quickly in combat.
It is executed by a relaxed rotation of the hand around the wrist. This same hand, used to encircle the opponent's attacking arm, can also be used to attack. Wu Sao employs either your palm or edge of the hand to block. Upon completion, your hand is in a prayer-like position in front of your chest. Wu Sao is the rear guard hand position employed when an opponent's punch penetrates your forward defenses. It is employed either to block outward with the hand's edge, or inward with the palm. Bok Sao employs the inside of your wrist to block. At completion, your arm is in the fixed elbow position, one fist distance from your center line. Bok Sao is important in sticking hands practice. Sao uses the palm heel for deflection. By utilizing the wrist's snapping action. It is often combined with a punch. Jum Sao is an oblique downward chopping motion that employs the hand edge or forearm to block. Upon completion, the arm is in the fixed elbow position. The arm motion is slight, since the elbows stay close to the center line. Its effectiveness lies in body shifting. Gan Sao employs the forearm to block low level and groin attacks. By combining both the hinge action of your elbow and body shifting. It is usually used to block kicks. Mong Sao is unusual since it deviates from the fixed elbow position. It is performed by a rolling motion of the forearm, which is the blocking surface. Coordination with torso rotation is important in Bong Sao. Wing Chun kicks, used for either harassment or closing the fighting gap, always supplement the hands with fast and low direct strikes to the groin, knees or shins. Front heel kick is delivered straight from the ground with a slight snapping action in the knee. Kick direct, but never higher than the midsection. The cross stomp kick uses the sole of the foot to break the opponent's balance, allowing for follow-up hand strikes.